All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm in here working in the car because I got a little bit of warm weather, and um, <laughs> don't laugh because it's not done yet. But um, I uh, put up a couple of trim pieces. Now all this will uh, get fiberglassed in, so it's um, one complete piece. I know it looks like a complete ass now, but um, it'll actually get fiberglassed. There'll be another trim piece that comes all the way down to the ground, which will go from here to here. Well, let me go right here, and. Um, then I'll seal up, uh, seal up the sides. I really didn't know how to do it, you know, because um, I'm no carpenter, as you can tell. And I just, um, you know, the trim pieces really didn't fit because the windows and the boxes in there are so tight. But um, yeah, I'll be um, fiberglassing this, and I'll be putting a couple of trim pieces in here and on the side right here just to fill all this in tomorrow. And I'm running out of sunlight. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. It looks pretty bright, but it's uh, it's about 3:30. So uh, yeah, I got a little bit of it started. And, um, there is a difference already. I didn't think there would be, but by God, there was. Um, it was something that I could notice. I mean, it could be because of the seats out, too. You know, but, um, yeah. It's, um, I'm getting the trim pieces in. I know it looks like ass, but, um, you know, I'll be filling this in, you know, and maybe, uh, I really don't want to put a speaker back here, but maybe I'll do something, you know, I gotta fill in this gap, you know. Maybe like a couple of pieces of wood and some expanding foam and then just like, doosh, doosh, you know, cover with fiberglass from there to there. I haven't decided yet, but as you can see, there's um, there's a gap, you know. So what I'm going to do is just build a trim pieces that go from here down and they follow the contour here. And then what will happen is um, I'll end up um, expanding foam and stuff from the back. And I think I want to try to keep the front as pretty as possible. So, you know, um, I don't know, you know. But uh, that just seemed the easiest way to do it is those brackets put on. She's in there, so um, I got that little gap to fill up. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, I thought I would just turn out the headliner and uh, put in an MDF roof and a stripper pole, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be necessary with um, my wattage and um, the SPL I'm going to be putting out. So um, we're going to go ahead and scrap that idea, but uh, yeah. That's it. It's um, it's getting there. I know it looks weird, but um, you guys will be um, you guys will be pleasantly surprised when you see the finished product. You'll be like, "Wow, you did that out of that." <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's uh, that's it. I'll, uh, I should have more for you tomorrow, and um, I should have a demo of um, uh, my brother's car that I did on this uh, this weekend when I got my horns, and um, so uh, look for that. Until then, this is Scottish Bear signing out. Peace.